Margaret Mitchell, a trailblazing Southern author and Pulitzer Prize winner. Margaret Mitchell, the beloved author of the Pulitzer Prize winning novel Gone with the Wind, has left an indelible mark on American literature. Her captivating storytelling and vivid portrayal of the American Civil War have captivated readers worldwide. This article delves into the life and literary legacy of Margaret Mitchell, shedding light on her tumultuous personal journey, her writing process, and the enduring appeal of her masterpiece. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, in 1900, Margaret Mitchell grew up amidst the fading grandeur of the Old South. Her father, Eugene Mitchell, was a prominent lawyer and her mother, Mary Isabel Stevens Mitchell, was an accomplished storyteller. Margaret's early life was shaped by the rich tapestry of Southern history and culture, which would later serve as the backdrop for her epic novel. Mitchell's path to becoming a writer was unconventional. After graduating from Washington Seminary in Atlanta, she worked as a journalist for the Atlanta Journal. It was during this time that she began writing Gone with the Wind as a hobby. Drawing on her Southern heritage and personal experiences, Mitchell crafted a multi-layered narrative that spanned the tumultuous years of the Civil War and its aftermath. In 1936, after years of meticulously writing and revising, Gone with the Wind was published. The novel became an instant sensation, selling over a million copies in its first six months. Critics praised Mitchell's vivid characters, sweeping historical detail, and masterful storytelling. In 1937, Mitchell received the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, solidifying her place as one of the most celebrated authors of her time. Gone with the Wind is a sweeping epic that explores the complex social and political landscape of the American South during the Civil War. Set against the backdrop of the fictional plantation Terra, the novel follows the life of Scarlett O'Hara, a strong-willed Southern belle. Scarlett's journey from a spoiled young woman to a resilient survivor epitomizes the resilience and determination of the South during the war and Reconstruction. Mitchell's novel also offers a nuanced portrayal of the African-American experience during the Civil War era. Through the character of Mammy, a former slave who remains fiercely devoted to the O'Hara family, Mitchell sheds light on the complex relationships between whites and blacks in the antebellum South. While Gone with the Wind brought Mitchell fame and critical acclaim, it also sparked controversy. Some critics accused Mitchell of perpetuating racial stereotypes and glorifying the antebellum South. However, Mitchell defended her work, arguing that it was a true depiction of the era and the people who lived through it. Despite the controversies surrounding Gone with the Wind, its literary significance cannot be denied. The novel has been translated into over 30 languages and has been adapted into several films and television productions, including the iconic 1939 movie starring Vivian Lee and Clark Gable. Mitchell's untimely death in 1949, at the age of 49, cut short a promising literary career. She left behind a treasure trove of unpublished manuscripts, letters, and other materials, which offer valuable insights into her creative process and life. Margaret Mitchell's legacy extends far beyond her literary achievements. To delve deeper into the life and work of Margaret Mitchell, subscribe to our channel for exclusive insights, analysis, and tips on writing historical fiction.